Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about inverse proportionality. Uh, in the previous video we talked about direct proportion. And if you have a look at the playlist on YouTube, that will give you some indication of the kind of issues that are surrounded within direct proportion. Or you can have a look at the uh, post on mathsrap.co.uk. What we really talked about, and the example I used was earnings. What we said was that earnings is proportional to um, the hours that are worked, and we used a particular term which is called K. Now that K is constant, so in this particular formula your earnings are proportional to the amount that you're paid, and I think the example I used was uh, in the UK maybe £8 per hour, and uh, I think I said something like $50 per hour for uh, America. Um, this is direct proportion, which basically means that your earnings will go up the more hours you work. So there's a direct relationship to it. Um, the video today is going to be looking at inverse proportionality. In other words, there's still a proportional relationship, but as one side goes up, the other decreases by the same rate. So a good example of that will be uh, speed and time. So for instance, if I have a uh, speed, it is proportional to time, but as speed increases, time decreases. So for instance, if you're, uh, if you're driving somewhere and you drive somewhere very, very fast, then the time that it will take to get there will be consequently reduced. Now the way that we write that for inverse proportionality is speed is inversely proportional, which is 1 over t, or 1 over time. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to give you a, uh, an exam question. It's uh, round about A grade, B grade question. I will write it in the description box underneath, and that will give you um, something to refer to. Or you can have a look at mathsrap.co.uk. If you do, there are some quick tests that you can download and have a go at them for yourself. Um, okay, so this particular question deals with painting a fence. Alrighty, and the question that's given to us, or the, the uh, information given to us, is that it takes four people um, three hours to paint a fence. Okay, and the question is, how long will it take six people to paint the same length of fence? All right, this is a fairly typical inverse proportionality question. The first bit of it will allow us to work out the value of k, which is the constant. It's this bit that goes in there, or this bit up here. And basically, it's the rate at which the four people work. So it could be the amount of uh, fence panels that they're able to complete in a fixed amount of time, in this particular case, three hours. And what we're going to do is work out this value of k and then use the value of k in order to find out how long it will take the six people to complete the same job. Okay, so the information that we're looking for is time. Well, as we are at the moment, time, which is this three hours, is proportional to the um, rate at which they work, and it's inversely proportional to the four people. Okay, so I think it's just a little bit careful that um, with these sorts of questions, you've got to work out whether it's inversely proportional or directly proportional. Sometimes the clue is in the question, it'll tell you. Um, other times you need to kind of look at it just as four people to do a job, six people to do a job, so therefore it's going to be uh, a quicker amount of time in which to complete, in this case, the fence panels. Okay, so what we need to do using this information, the four people in three hours, is, uh, I'm just going to make that P actually, um, the four people in the three hours is work out this value of K, and then I'm going to use that in the next little bit of the question. Okay, so let's put the numbers in. So at this particular moment, the four people in three hours, then T equals k divided by p. 
P. So the three hours equals K over four. And if you use a little bit of algebra to manipulate that, you can work out that by multiplying both sides by four, I can work out the value of K as being equal to 12. Okay, if you're not sure about that step, you need to perhaps have a look at some of the algebra videos on the YouTube channel or do a quick search on the MathsRap website and that will give you some detail about algebra and how we balance algebraic equations. Okay, so the value of the rate of work is, uh, in this particular case, is 12. So it could be uh, 12 panels or it could be uh, 12 fence posts or, panel or uh, sticks or whatever it might be. I don't know, but it's taken these four people um, three hours, a rate of 12, let's say, panels per three hours. OK, so we're going to use that information and we're going to put that into uh, the same formula, but this time we have a value of K and we're going to work out the value of T for time. So T equals K, which is 12, divided by 6 in this particular case. So in order for us to find out the value of time, it's going to be k is the 12, so 12 panels, but it's going to take 6 people this time to do the same 12 panels. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, so it's going to take 2 hours for 6 people, and that would be the answer to your question. Um, I hope that's okay. I will write the whole question in the description box on the YouTube channel. Um, or you can have a look at the MathsRap site and there are some uh, quick tests for you to have a go at for yourself. Uh, thank you very much for your time today. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do uh, post, pin, tweet uh, this particular video. You can subscribe and you'll be posted the next time I post something. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.